Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and welcome to this Ghost Studio review, demo and walkthrough. So here I am on the Ghost Studio website and Ghost Studio is a professional interactive live streaming software and you can use it to create perfectly unique live streams for whatever occasion you want. So today we're gonna to take a deep dive into it. So before we do, drop a like, subscribe and turn on the bell if you wanna be updated with new videos coming out all the time. So first off, let's just jump into some of the unique features you can get with your GoStream account. So first of all, the interface, as you will see soon, is extremely simple, um, built with complexity for simplicity. So I've been testing this out for the last couple of days and really impressed. I have tried a lot of different streaming software out before and super impressed with the simplicity of Go Studio in particular. My favorite feature is the fact that you can engage with your audience with live games and create that kind of interactivity that is gonna keep people watching your streams. You can also add personal branding to your streams, change logos, themes, and colors, so really resonating with who you are, what your brand is, and what your audience expects. Also, while there is a Go Studio app and also a guest app, uh, you don't actually need to download anything. You can access Go Studio directly in your browser, as can your viewers. You can also record all of your streams and share those very easily to different social media platforms. There's also a really cool conferencing feature, uh, multi-screen, multi-stream, multi-platform conferencing feature. So if you want multiple people on stream, uh, you can definitely do that with Go Studio. And another one of my favorite features is the pre-made templates and kind of the template store that is constantly being updated uh, with templates for your stream that you can use uh, based on different occasions, based on whatever needs you have. So jumping into really what you can expect. So I'm gonna really put myself in the shoes of somebody who is just checking out Go Studio, like I hope you will. And uh, we're gonna sign up and show you exactly what to expect. So from the Go Studio website, you can get started for free up at the top here. So we're just gonna go there and we're going to sign up and just enter your email in there and you get a login code sent to your email. So after you get your login code, just copy that, paste it in, and log in. So then it will ask you to set up a password so you can do all that easy enough. Enter your full name, agree to the terms and conditions, finish, and off we go, straight into the dashboard um, with a quick kind of tutorial pop-ups on what everything means. So what they suggest you're doing first is actually linking your accounts. So what accounts do you wanna to stream to? Your YouTube, your Facebook. So start with linking those. So straight away on the dashboard, you have the template store and you have your free templates up at the top here. Um, and they have ratings and whatnot and you can try those out to your heart's content. Um, and then you have the top paid templates. So you can see we have different templates for Christmas, uh, different kinds of designs here uh, that you can preview and also use. So here you get a bit of a snapshot. You can check out you know, uh, the different things that you can do with that template, the different layouts you can have. There's also different apps that you can add on as well. So as you can see, available for PC, Mac and Android. So let's get into just creating a live stream uh, using these basic features. Now, as the tu tutorial suggests, you're gonna wanna connect your account first. So I'm gonna go to add account, and on the basic option, I'm given a Facebook and a YouTube account. So I'm gonna connect to a YouTube account. So we'll ask you to log into your Google account and accept permissions and whatnot, and you just go through that process and your account uh, will be connected to Go Studio. It takes like five seconds, so no problem at all there. And then you wanna add a destination if you wanna save a destination. So this is really saving where your live streams are gonna go out to. So I'm gonna choose that account that I just added. And I'm gonna give it a title. So I'm just gonna call it test stream. And this is my test stream. So we're gonna add that, and that just makes everything easier later on when we wanna start streaming. It's already gonna come up in the list, okay? So I'd recommend adding uh, your save destinations in there just so when you get started streaming, uh, it's easy to just um, choose where you want the streams to go out to, because this is a multi-platform uh, streaming uh, software. So let's get into it. Create a stream. Um, up on the top left here, it's gonna ask me what templates I want to use. So I'm going to go with, I really want to go with a blank template just so we can see the features a lot more clearly, I think. So let's go with that. 
we're going to call it stream one uh, you can do portrait or landscape obviously you can use it on your phone if you want but I'm on PC right now so we're going to create a project if you want to put a thumbnail click here this is just a uh, picture of me with some crazy filter on it and then you just go to create a new project so it's going to ask you for permissions like adding your microphone and camera um, or you can join without so I've already added my settings but if you want to make sure that they're enabled you just go up to your browser at the top here next to the um, little padlock and you just turn on your settings there so camera off camera on microphone sound clipboard okay and then we're gonna go enter studio and again we've got our pop-up here telling us you know how to add layers um, you know what we can add into the scene here so quick tutorial how to get started and yeah this is what everything looks like so we have our main scene here and what it's loading there is my camera so that's kind of added as the default um, element in the scene so there I am in the top there and I can you know make that big or small I'm just gonna pop myself up in the top here and we'll go through some of the features and what else you can add in there so we have our scene here and uh, we can add multiple scenes we can add uh, templates in here as well so I can add a template like this choose what kind of look I want so this one for gaming looks pretty cool if you feel like you've made a mistake with your template selection on the initial window you can just come in and change it right from within um, uh, the stream itself so that's adding a template we can also add a scene uh, and also switch between scenes as well um, but let's go back to our like basic uh, template and we'll see what we can add so this is on the left here where we can add things into our scenes so the first thing we have is text so we can create like a text banner and the editing is done over on the right here so we can change our text and change our font um, alignment uh, we can also customize the alignment here with our x and y axis transparency uh, background edit the text here like we just did different kinds of fonts here decent library of fonts so let's get something like big and let's make this something special. All right, there's a big one there. Animation. So here we have it scrolling, left or right. Um, drop shadow. So let's put a drop shadow on there, maybe a green. So pretty decent customization there. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the animation. What else can we add? So let's maybe add an image. So you can add an image by URL, paste the URL in there. Uh, we also have the Go Studio store and also my gallery uh, and also upload. So uploading pretty fast, pretty painless. So let's throw that in there. The old self may newbie logo, put that down in the bottom here. Um, next thing is shapes. All right, let's add a shape, why not? So we have a circle there. And don't forget that you can also copy this layer. And there I have two circle so pretty good design options there uh, the next thing we can add is video okay so as you can see I've kind of disappeared so we're gonna have to add my camera back in um, you can choose what camera is hooked up the resolution so let's leave it at that so we can keep our speed and also the microphone so here I am I'm back so we can also do screen sharing we can add uh, we can go to our video library we can add a video from YouTube as well. So let's find a video on YouTube. So let's get one of the Go Studio tutorials. Put that in there. Now this is all being set up kind of pre-stream. Like I'm not even actually streaming right now. I'm um, just kind of setting up my uh, stage if you like. But this can all be done uh, within the stream. So let's kick it off. Let's start the actual stream. So the way you would do that is right at the top here. You just go start live and set up the resolution. I'm going to keep it there just so, you know, we can keep the, the speed up. Um, and like I said before, if you've saved those destinations and saved those accounts, they should be right here in the drop down. OK, we can give our stream a title. Um, go to continue. We've already got our destination saved, like I said. We can schedule this as well. Um, but we're just going to continue. And 
confirm that you want to start streaming and that will take maybe I don't know a couple seconds uh, to a minute to kind of get connected so I'm just trying to stream to YouTube here so that's all connected we can see the preview and it says start live stream so let's do it three two one we are now live. So if we get rid of this uh, and we put this video in the middle. Now, if we take a quick look at the interface here, we have our live here, how long we've been going on. Our connection speed is full. We can check out, you know, as we're on different platforms, we can see, you know, the different kinds of um, attention we're getting. You know, we have all the likes, etc. We have support up here if you have any issues. And down here will be all the comments that come up. So we can keep track of comments here. We can refresh those. We can keep track of orders if we have the sales feature and we're selling from within the stream and also just that main chat which will be connected to um, whatever platform, YouTube chat or Facebook chat, whatever um, you're pushing the stream out to. So a couple of extra features here as well just on the main um, camera there. Um, we can remove the background. So that's a pretty neat feature how it can clip that and mask it. You can also put a blurred background and also green screen as well. If you are using a green screen, it's very easy to integrate uh, as well. There are a couple of other cute features here as well. As you can see, I have some beautiful red lipstick on. There's this lipstick feature. So that's what I look like with lipstick on. Also different stickers that you can add. Here I have butterflies. So making myself look extra pretty here. Um, so that's a pretty unique feature that I haven't seen on any other platform. We can also adjust the contrast, the brightness, um, and the saturation as well. So extremely customizable um, as far as your video goes, uh, and also just as far as your whole stage goes. Okay, you saw all those templates uh, that you can use and integrated with all this kind of fun stuff as well. And the gaming options, the conference, the interactivity. Um, it's a really cool platform to use. Now we're gonna close this down and we'll get into what you can expect as far as the pricing goes and also some of the other unique features that I haven't mentioned yet. So I left the live stream, you can give it a rating. So I loved it. So if you wanna find out the pricing uh, on your own, there is a link in the description as well. And just at the top here, you have the pricing. Now, unlike a lot of streaming services out there that only offer like free trials or just nothing as far as free goes at all, you can get started for free. Um, but the free features, you will have a branded watermark, uh, but you do have the green screen option, screen sharing, and also the online conference features. There's the silver option for $10, no branded watermark, uh, recording five videos over five days. You can multi-stream to two destinations and you can link social accounts, three different social accounts. On the gold account, multi-stream to four destinations. This is for 15 a month. Live stream sales tools and the stream limits. You can go up to four hours and then we have the diamond version for 45 a month. You get your own private server. Recording 20 videos over 20 days, you can connect third party streaming and multi stream up to 10 different destinations at once. So, when I click more features down here, you can come through here and compare, you know, exactly what you're getting on each uh, pricing plan so you can make the best decision for you and whatever needs you have. Uh, there's also a live chat here on the, on the website, so you can ask questions to the live chat and uh, get pretty good support in a pretty uh, timely manner. Now, a couple of unique features here. The first one is you do not need an app or you do not need to download anything in order to use Go Studio. Uh, you can directly access it and directly stream from your web browser. The server is extremely stable and the reason for that is it has its own transmission line. So it's not affected by the personal transmissions of the user. And also if the users lose a connection, you are not booted off your stream. They can still rejoin the live stream, uh, you know, instead of having to abruptly end like a lot of other software. So that's a quick tutorial, quick walkthrough of what you can expect with Go Studio. If you want access, do click that link in the description and get started and just give it a go for free. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be putting out a couple more mini videos about Go Studio, namely about the conferencing feature, the games and the interactivity, and also the direct selling feature of Go Studio. So until then, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, drop a like, subscribe, link in the description. I'd recommend checking out Go Studio and uh, 
seeing how good it is for yourself. See you next time.